When I was in Iran, every morning before class, saying, Death to Israel! And there's a very strange hatred about Israel. Hatred about Jewish people came to my heart. I went for military service and they sent me for extra training like a commander. I became addicted to drugs. I stopped all religious activities. When I finished a military service, after that I found a very good job, business job, and uh, receiving good money. I left Iran just for a better life. My illegal journey started. I flew to Turkey, Istanbul, and from Turkey I flew to Bosnia. That was a very risky and dangerous way. When I arrived in England, I applied for asylum. I didn't have any good reason. I left Iran just for a better life. I decided to tell lie to government. Through the application form, I told them because I was persecuted Christian, life was dangerous for me, and send this document to the immigration office in London. I said to myself, Darius, if government asks you about Christianity, what do you have to tell them? I decided to go to church just to get information about Christianity. I went to the church, I heard all basic things about Christianity, about Messiah, about repentance, about cross, he rose again after three days and he's alive, he can change lives. That was, my brain was full of information, but my heart was still dark. When I receive a letter from government for interview, I pick up the phone and I call my pastor. I'm going for interview. Could you come and help me what to say, what not to say to government? When he came, he said to me, Darius, you are not Christian. It is all lie. Yeshua asks you to stand on truth and truth will set you free. I became very angry and said, no, I can't. They deport me back to Iran. I went to my room, I locked the door and I bowed down. I cry and shout, said, if there is any God, you show yourself to me. I can't continue anymore. When I said that, that moment, that moment he revealed himself. That moment he came. That moment he healed me completely from drugs. That moment I gave my heart to him. He touched my heart and he gave me strength and power. That was a power just walking inside my heart. Because I tried several times before to give up the drugs, but I couldn't. But that time I asked Yeshua to start a new life, and he did. And he said to me, Darius, I love you as you are with the dirty things, because I died on the cross for you. I went for interview in London and the officer said to me, we have just a couple of questions. I said to him, I'm so sorry about application form. I wasn't Christian in Iran. Life wasn't dangerous for me. I came to this country just for a better life. But two days ago, I gave my heart to Jesus. If you want to send me to Iran or anywhere, I am ready for that. He looked at me and said, you told lie? They refused the application form. In my court, the judge, he looked at me and said, Mr. Zarian, what did you do yesterday? Because my court was on Monday. I told him, yesterday I was leading a worship group. And he said, how did you do that? And I told him, I was reading Psalm 96 and he said what Psalm 96 says and he said everyone in the, in the court just opened the Bible everyone just read Psalm 96 sing a song for the Lord sing a new song for the Lord 
proclaim his salvation. And that was a miracle. He said to me, you are accepted to stay in England. For a long time, I used to believe lie about Israel, about this nation, about Jewish people. I started to read the Bible from the beginning. And through their study, God gave me a passion and love for Jewish people. Because God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, Yeshua, Mashiach, saved my life, changed my life. You are a Muslim or a Hindu or a Buddhist or an atheist, whoever you are, and you feel that you want to commit yourself, your life to Jesus, I want to pray with you right now. And I want to invite you to come to faith in Jesus Christ because He loves you. Maybe you feel that you are anxious, you are filled with anxiety, always anxiety and so much stress and depression. I, I pray that you will find your way to Jesus. Pray always to God and pray this prayer with me if you want to receive Jesus into your heart and mind right now. Pray this prayer with me because God loves you. He wants you to come close to Him. Say, God Almighty, I give you my heart. I give you my life. I ask that you forgive me of all my sins. I pray that you will wash me clean. I repent and I pray that you will accept me as your child I no longer want to be a slave to sin I no longer want to be a slave to Allah I no longer want to be a slave to fear but I want to be your child wash me clean I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior I make him my Savior and from now on I will follow Jesus I will live for Jesus I give you my whole being be glorified Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Touch me right now. And show me your will. Guide me. And I pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you have prayed that prayer with me, I want to invite you to inbox us, and um, I want you to in, to to join Christian groups, and then tell people that you have come to faith in Christ. Tell anyone, especially Christians, so that we can rejoice with you. And the angels of God they rejoice in heaven. They rejoice over you, over one person who come to faith in Christ so I want to rejoice with you we want to rejoice with you and we want to invite you to read your Bible every day start with the book of John in the New Testament um, the book of John chapter 1 read that and also the book of Matthew in the New Testament read Matthew 5 and just be filled with God's presence God's peace God's joy and contact us um, go see and if you can you, you can find a church a Bible based church be careful there are many cults churches out there so find the right church if you don't know which church to go to contact us and we will guide you we will help you um and um, be blessed be blessed and glorify god pray every day wherever you are wherever you go you don't have to do voodoo you don't have to do rituals anymore just praise god and enjoy your creator with you who is with you and he will never leave you no never forsake you amen mm -hmm.